Hi, I'm Danica, the Director of Outreach at Project Remote. Project Remote strives to promote STEAM among K and youth. For today's activity, we'll be learning all about architecture by creating a geodesic dome. At first, it may seem complicated to create such an intricate structure, but you'll quickly get the hang of it. Let's start off with defining what the fancy term geodesic dome means. It's a dome or shell-like structure that's hemispherical. All this means is that it forms half a sphere. So imagine a soccer ball or basketball, but cut in half. The word geodesic refers to the curve representing the distance from point A to point B that's shortest. You'll need a pair of scissors, a ruler, a bunch of pipe cleaners, and straws. The number depends on how large you want your dome to be. If you follow our measurements though, you'll need 18 straws. The first step is to turn your straws into two groups of strut A and strut B. Struts are rods or bars that form the framework of a design. Take the straws for strut A and cut them to whatever size you'd like. My strut A's will be 2.75 inches, so measure and cut along the mark. Strut A will be longer than strut B, so take the length of your strut A and multiply it by 0.885 to find the length of strut B. If it ends up being a decimal, round to the nearest tenth. My strut B's will be 2.5 inches. For 8 inch straws, these measurements will fit 2 strut A's and 1 strut B, or 3 strut B's. You'll need a total of 35 strut A's and 30 strut B's. We recommend using a ruler and accurately cutting each strut once, then using it as a measurement to save time cutting the rest. This may take a while, but the result will end up looking great. Once you've finished cutting all your pieces, it's time to assemble the pentagons. Take a pipe cleaner, thread one strut A before bending the end so it sticks out like so. Then, thread four other strut A's, making sure to bend the pipe cleaner where two struts meet. At this point, you'll need to attach another pipe cleaner to extend the length. Just twist them together and push tightly so no bits are pointing out. Once you've formed this pentagon shape and are back to your original strut, take the initial bent piece and thread it through the last strut while pushing the open end into the original strut like so. Take two strut B's and thread them through. Bending the area where they meet, forming a triangle shape. Push the pipe cleaner into the closest strut A to where the last strut B is. Repeat this process with two more strut B's on the opposite side of the pentagon to have two triangles. Once you're done, again push it through a strut A and add one more strut B. Cut the end leaving some extra pipe cleaner open. Bend this part and push it through any strut B.
Take shorter lengths of pipe cleaner. Bend them in half to make these divots. Make a few of these and use them as connectors between strut bees, placing one end in one and another in a different one. The longer they are, the more secure. Repeat this entire process five times to make a total of six pentagons. Once you've accomplished this, connect the pentagons together. Dedicate a certain one as your center or starting pentagon. With strut B facing out, add two of these bent connector pieces to a point of the center pentagon to that of another, like so. Take another pentagon and add connectors at a different point of the center pentagon like you did before. Do this with all five points of the pentagon. Now that they're all attached, it should look like this. Begin adding connector pieces to pentagons next to each other. Between each pentagon should be a triangular shape. It may be easier to raise the structure upward to get the shapes closer together. After securely attaching all six pentagons together, prop the dome up. Add five 2.75 inch pieces, or strut A's, between each pentagon using two connector pipe cleaners for each. Now that you've finished, your geodesic structure is officially done. Architects and designers alike find geodesic domes super interesting. Because they are made up of the strongest shape used for building, triangles, they can spread force evenly between all three points. This allows them to become more resistant to wind, snow, earthquakes, and other natural disasters, making them super fascinating to design. I hope you enjoyed following along as we learned about this unique type of architecture. Thanks for watching! Be sure to send us photos of the dome you built, and check out our other videos. Let us know your thoughts down below, on our website, or reach out to us. Bye!